People say you, uh, you make a film three times, you write it once, you shoot it once, and then you cut it. And, um, I find that uh, um, I like editing very much, and editing's one of my favourite parts of making a film, once you have all your material, and you start delving into it and finding all those nuggets, and especially the stuff before you even roll, before you even say, you know, we're rolling in action, and you catch these little moments where people are at rest or contemplative. The editing room is like the confessional. The, the director sits in the editing room feeling a complete klutz, going, oh my God, I should have noticed, da da da. And the editor will be able to see what is there. I like to be able to just sit down, have all the material in front of me, and view it all, get the big picture, and then plan out uh, an approach to, to how to put it all together. Um, I personally like to be able to see everything. Uh, that way I've got all of the choices in front of me. Yeah, there is a great saying, people say, fix it in post. Um, I've yet to sort of figure out how that works, but um, as far as I'm concerned, it's got to be shot right in the first instance. It's got to be directed uh, and shot perfectly and then you'll get the, the, the end result, the net result. The most important thing that I learned from the, my first film shoot is um, give yourself as many options as possible in, in the edit. Um, so I think um, uh, giving yourself options, uh, you know, taking different angles and, and not calling cuts so early. I think giving yourself that time to let a scene play out and, and allowing those, those happy mistakes to happen is, um, is the thing I learned. Uh, it was very annoying sitting in the edit and, and hearing my voice saying cut when some lovely moments were happening. Yeah. Getting adequate coverage will save your ass basically um, at the end of the day because uh, things like cutaways and uh, different shot sizes, all those things that make a sequence uh, can be your get out of jail free card. Some of the most obvious things that I come across is uh, coverage, not getting enough coverage cutaways, having the ability to cut from a tight, a wide to a tight. Um, that to me is, is key, you've got to make sure you get that coverage. Shoot for the sequences, just always look for sequences. Um, you can have all the f most fabulous single shots uh, in the world, but if you don't have the sequences there, that's what makes it strong and allows you to compress time and really makes the story. The thing to remember in post is that nobody cares what your intentions were. You're never going to be walking around to every theater at the film festival and explaining, this is what I really meant to do. No, all that matters is the footage that you got and how you cut it together. I think it's important to edit intuitively and quickly. I think one of my most successful films I've done was edited within five days. And that's only because it's all we had. And it really does have one of the most organic flows to it. Once you've got the structure starting to work, that means a good beginning, a decent middle, and a fantastic ending. Once you've got that, then you can start to tart up the surface. The surface will always tart up, and if you need to tart up the surface with extra shots, and you've got a good producer, you've got a thing called a pickup shoot. I work really hard to get a scene working or to get something working without any music added onto it, because then you don't need a trick. The scene works because it works. It doesn't work because there's emotional music playing in the background. To have an end result that is perfect, you have to be ruthless. And you've got to be prepared to throw away huge amounts of material. You want to make your film out of the best bits. Now that seems a funny thing to say. You want to make your film out of the best bits, but you really, really do. And sometimes your best bits are very contrary. And sometimes you have to throw out your absolute, your absolute darling best bit because it makes the rest look bad. You can change an entire story, you can fix a story if it's broken in the, in the editing suite if you had to. When someone tells you that something should be cut and you are absolutely positively sure that the movie cannot survive this thing being cut, cut it. I'm not afraid to, to rejig it, cut it up, change the story a bit. Look at the movie after it's cut, give it a day, look at it again, Chances are, 85% of the time, they were actually right and it should have been cut. 
but we hold on to it because we remember how hard it was to get the shot or what that shot meant thematically or something that doesn't actually matter to the audience experience. It's being flexible and, and creative and you have to be, understand that sometimes the film you've written and the film you've shot isn't the film you're going to get end, end up with. And quite often that's the case as people try and write a script and they look for the premise or the, the path in their script and they don't find it until the film's finished. And they go, there it was, it was there all the time.